Some new modeling by researchers suggests that DART may do way more damage to its asteroid target in September than previously thought. I'm Eric Malachite, and it's Asteroid Day. So you know what that means. We're talking about DART, the mission that could one day save us from certain doom. In September, NASA will be testing a new method for redirecting asteroids on a collision course with Earth. Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART for short, will be the first ever kinetic impact test on an asteroid. DART will essentially smash into Dimorphos, a small asteroid satellite that orbits the potentially hazardous near-Earth object Didymos at 24,000 kilometers an hour. That sounds like a lot, but if we convert that number to one of the primary measurements used for most space rocks in the solar system, we get about 6 kilometers per second, which is still pretty fast. But to put that speed in perspective, the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs was traveling at 30 to 40 kilometers per second when it slammed into the Earth at a shallow angle. Real quick, before we continue with the video, please remember to like and share this video and check out our Discord community where you can meet other science nerds like you. Next month, we're going to have a channel where you can share your amateur astronomy photos of Comet 17P Holmes. The link is in the pinned comment. Didymos is around 0.78 to 0.8 kilometers in diameter, but Dimorphos is much smaller, measuring only 170 meters, but otherwise would leave the asteroid relatively unscathed. And it appears that that might no longer be the case. New research published in the Planetary Science Journal suggests that DART will have a much bigger impact on Dimorphos than previously thought. Sabina Raducan, study lead author, said in a statement that, with our novel modeling approach, which takes into account the propagation of the shockwaves, the compaction, and the subsequent flow of the material, we were for the first time able to model the entire cratering process resulting from impacts on small asteroids like Dimorphos. Sabina and their colleagues were able to do this thanks to data obtained from Hayabusa 2, a Japanese probe that succeeded the first mission to ever bring back material from an asteroid. Hayabusa 2 met up with a near-Earth asteroid called 162173 Ryuga in 2018 and showed us all that asteroids are not always solid. Many of them are more akin to rubble piles than space rocks. That rubble pile is bound by smaller gravitational interactions, and based on this new research, it's entirely possible that DART will seriously disrupt Dimorphos. We're talking about ejected material here, possibly even a serious change to the orbits of Didymos and Dimorphos too. Dimorphos orbits the larger Didymos, which in turn orbits the Sun at a variable distance of 1 to 2.27 AU, and the asteroid system takes around two years to finish an orbit. With a test just months away from happening, how bad could this be for Dimorphos? And considering Didymos' orbit, could this send the asteroid system on a direct collision course with the Earth? Didymos and Dimorphos form a pretty unique looking system. Didymos is one of the few asteroids in the solar system that has its own moon. Besides the admittedly sad possibility that we could end up destroying this system when DART gives Dimorphos the smackdown of its life, just how bad could it get? Well, according to simulations run by the researchers involved with the new paper, as much as 20% of Dimorphos' material could be ejected upon impact. These images show a variety of different possible outcomes for the unfortunate asteroid satellite. As you can see, the amount of damage depends on the angle at which DART impacts the space rock. This should be no surprise to loyal science getters, because it's thought that shallow impacts tend to cause more damage than head-on collisions. Of course, all of this depends on Dimorphos' composition. We don't really know how it's structured, so for all we know, it could be a solid chunk of rock, and the original predictions could have been right all along. But fear not, because the ESA is going to launch a follow-up mission in 2024 to visually investigate the results of the DART test. As for whether or not DART could end up altering Didymos' orbit in a way that endangers the Earth, the researchers in NASA don't seem to be too worried about this possibility. And in fact, a study concluded that almost none of the material ejected from the test will reach our planet, well at least not for 1,000 years. But what do you think? Do you think DART is going to destroy Dimorphos? Are you sad about this possibility? Let me know in the comments. If you dug this content, be sure to do all that algorithmic jazz and like, subscribe, ring that bell, share this video with someone who loves asteroids and comments, and check out the Discord where you can meet other science nerds like you. And hey, check out all those wonderful names. Thank you, patrons. I'm Eric Malachite, and I'll see you next time, Space Cowboy.